Hey YouTube, it's your girl B, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I still have my plain background. I haven't decorated it yet, but I'm getting to that. I hope all everybody's doing well. So this video is going to be all about airbrushing. Um, my fellow makeup artists out there, I'm quite sure you guys all know, airbrushing is one of the most popular and most requested um, services that people ask for nowadays. So if you're not airbrushing, you're kind of behind in the times. With that being said, I had a wedding and I did something that probably a lot of you have done. I think I ruined my airbrush gun. So, by not cleaning it out when I was supposed to. I was rushing and I rushed out of there and I did not even give it a quick swish with any type of cleaner. So right about now it's kind of stuck together. And if you can see, it is gunk all inside of the gun like and this is dried on because by the time i realized it a couple days had already passed and i was like damn it <sighs> so i think that this is pretty much a done deal but speaking with a friend of mine who does a lot of body painting like i do body painting as opposed to going out and buying another gun told me to visit my art supply store and get some airbrush cleaner. So it's not your typical airbrush cleaner. I went to Blick Art Materials downtown in Philadelphia. And this is Createx Airbrush Restorer. It's non-toxic, it's water soluble, it's non-abrasive, biodegradable, non-flammable, and low vapor. Safely dissolves hardened and dried paints. Restores rubber O-rings and Teflon packing. So this sounds like exactly what I need. It was hmm, on sale for $10.99 plus tax. And this is 16 ounces. So I read the bottle and it says that you have to submerge the airbrush or airbrush parts completely in restorer for one to two hours to totally dissolve dry colors. Now, this dissolves soft plastic, so you have to be very, very careful. I was going to put it in like this plastic um, Taco Bell cup, because I like Taco Bell. But I decided not to. So, don't judge me. I have my Coors Light beer mug. <laughs> I'm going to put everything in. So, I've taken it apart. I'm taking, I'm even going to drop everything. I'm not going to put this piece in there. But I have my needle, which is stuck in here. Damn it, I didn't know that. Okay, so I have the needle out. And as you can see, it's a lot of gunk on there. You guys see that? So I'm dropping that in. I'm going to take apart the rest of the gun. And, yeah, everything goes in. All in. Even this. I think I'm going to put this in here, too, because this has a lot of paints and everything else. And if you guys are wondering what I was airbrushing with, I was using my Graftobian, my favorite airbrush foundation next to OCC. Um, and Temp2. Yeah, and this even has junk on it too. So I'm going to just that in there. And $10 for 16 ounces. Being as though it's not an airbrush cleaner, you're not going to use this every day. You're only going to use it for instances like this where you have oh, Damn. Where, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Where you have, like, stuff that's just stuck on your gun. Like, you haven't cleaned it out. So, Createx is a really amazing brand. I use it when I'm doing a lot of body painting. But, I did not know they made this. I'm very happy they do. And it looks like I'm going to be using all 16 ounces. Yep. So I'm going to let this sit for two hours. I'm not going to let it sit overnight. And then after this it says rinse parts and spray water through airbrush before use for storage. Because I couldn't even, even with my regular airbrush cleaner, I couldn't get anything through it. So let's keep our fingers crossed. And I'll be back in two hours. Bye.
Hi YouTube. I have sad and disturbing news. I did something to my airbrush gun when I put it back together from being cleaned and it's not working right now. I've tried taking it apart and putting it back together and taking it apart and putting it back together. It just, the air will not flow through it. I don't know what I did to it. I think that maybe this one is a goner. But luckily I have backups. But this video isn't about that. The video is actually um, a review on the Createx Airbrush Restorer. And let me just give you my final thoughts on that. Let me put this down. My final thoughts on this is that it did not work the way I expected it to. I ended up falling asleep last night and um, the airbrush actually stayed overnight in this solution. And I did check. And even if you leave it overnight, it's not going to hurt it. That's probably not the reason why my airbrush stopped, it stopped you know, the airflow or whatever. Um, it did clean it not as well as I wanted it to but for the most part it did clean it I have no concerns over that and then with it being um ten dollars I'm impressed one of the other things that I also bought when I was at Blick um I ended up getting this Medea airbrush cleaner which is really really good I usually use Greg Tobian or attempt to um if I didn't have time to order any and I needed something right then and there so this is fast acting odorless and environmentally friendly so i like it uh medea is also affiliated with iwata so it's definitely good i ended up kind of like cleaning out the airbrush a little bit more if you can see with the airbrush cleaner but i don't know i'm going to take it apart again and try again to see if i can um get some air to flow through it like when I turn my compressor on, it's just not spraying. Nothing's coming out. And I've tried everything. And I know that uh, it's air coming through. I don't know. I'll try again. But overall, love it. I'm kind of iffy about it. So. I don't know, Createx Airbrush Restorer, hmm, maybe, but probably next time I'll just use this airbrush cleaner because I think it's a little stronger than some of the other brands that I've purchased. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Mm, love you guys. Bye-bye.